Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, my name is Sarah. I'm the health and fitness specialist in McLean, Virginia. Fingers crossed that you guys can see this because it has been so difficult <laughs> with Facebook Live the past couple days. Um, but I'm really hoping that if you guys can see this, that I will be able to lead you through a strength, no, stretching focused <laughs> midday movement today to end the month of October off right and welcome us into the month of November starting tomorrow. Um, if you have not seen any of the flyers or anything yet on our Slack or on our fitness page, um, we are having a fun little holiday treat for everybody at both MITRE locations. So everyone is able to come to our group exercise classes in person, both on site at McLean and Bedford locations, um, open to everybody. You do not have to be a member uh, to join those, uh, but we will hopefully see some of you guys out there. If not, continue to support us online as we will have our online regiment still happening. Um, but without any further ado, this always bothers me. I need to search down just a little bit, a little. There we go. Okay, so for today's session, um, we are doing a stretching focus. So all you will need is a mat and an open space on the floor. Um, everything is going to be standing, so uh, you won't need any extra equipment or any like large space because we're not going to be laying down or anything like that. We're just going to be taking up about your wingspan's worth of space. Um, I just need to make sure that we are indeed live before I get started. Can we double check and make sure that I'm live? All right, so let's get started with our warm up. We're going to do a standing cat cow to begin with. So, what that's going to look like is we are going to arch the back. The head is going to look up to the sky, and as we exhale, we're going to press through the fingers, open up the back, curl through the shoulders, chin it up towards the chest here. And then we're gonna come back to arch the back. Head looks up to the sky. So press forward. To open up. And press. We're gonna do about 10 of these. Take it nice and slow. Hold where it feels a little extra tight. Two more here. Last one, after we press. All right, you guys, awesome job. All right, so moving on, we're going to continue working on our upper back a little bit. We're going to get some side bends in. So we're gonna walk the feet out a little bit wider than hip distance. As we reach, we want our arms to reach over our head to extend to the side. And come back. Same thing on the other side. No. And come back. 
back, we're going to do three on each side. It's got to go in my pocket, I think. I don't have anything to keep it. All right, reach over the head, open up the side here, and then... Allow yourself to relax a little bit further on each rotation here. For our last one on this side here. And relax. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our lower body we are going to do calf scoops. So we're going to prop the leg out in front of us. I don't know if you can see my feet. But we're gonna be propping the leg up on the heel here. The other leg is going to have a bend in it. We're going to hinge at the hips to scoop towards the ground, reach towards the heel there, and come up to standing, utilizing the glutes on this side and opening up the calf and the hamstring on the other side here. So we're reaching towards the ground, scooping the foot, and then coming back up to standing. We're gonna do five on each leg here, and then we'll switch. Nice and slow. Last one. Good. Go ahead and switch. So prop the heel up, soft bend in the other leg, hinging at the hips, reaching for the foot. Good. relax. All right, so we're going to repeat. No, not yet. Okay, next thing we have is just a forward fold. We're going to open up our hamstrings and allow our arms to get a little extra, uh, Words are so difficult today, I can't even tell you why. But we're gonna allow our upper back to relax a little bit more, open up our hamstrings a little bit as we drop into this forward fold, okay? So, feet stacked under hips, hinging at the hips to reach towards the floor. Allow the head and the hands to hang heavy here. Three, two, one, come on up. All right, so our structure for our workout is going to be the same. What we're going to be looking at is we're going to have three exercises. We're going to repeat each one twice, um, and we have two circuits of these exercises, okay? So we're going to start with a little bit of a lower body focus here. Um, the first exercise that we have is a sumo squat with single heel lift or a sumo squat with calf raise whatever phrasing sounds better to you so we're going to walk the feet out wider than hip distance we're going to drop into a squat we're going to lift one heel off the ground at a time really focusing on our ankle mobility here try to come all the way up onto the toes For 10 on each leg. Now 
Now the depth of the squat really is just determined by your own range of motion. If you can be in this full sumo squat or if you can only be here doing this, whichever one you are able to do, it is fully customizable to you and your workout. So for me, that was 10 on each leg. So we get to move on to our runner's lunge with overhead reach. So what that's gonna look like is we're gonna be in a high lunge here. So back foot, I mean back leg is straight, front leg is bent. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reach overhead, press through the hips here, and then come on down. So as we press over the knee, reaching overhead, and then coming up. We're gonna hold for like two seconds for 10 reps. Inhale, reach overhead, exhale, arms down for two more. And relax. All right, switching legs. Same thing, we're gonna have 10 overhead reaches, pressing through this hip now. Inhale, reach overhead. Press over the knee. Good. Halfway through. Relax. All right, next thing we're going to do is a forward fold with rotation. So it's going to look very similar to what we did at first, but it's gonna be slightly different. So instead of us just coming straight forward here, we're going to reach opposite arm to opposite leg rotating up to the sky here, opening up the back and the hamstring simultaneously, okay? So we're gonna do 10 total of these, five to each side. In three, two, one. Two more here. And last one. Relax. We've got about 20 seconds before we head back in to woo, our um, second round of this circuit. Sorry for the wind. All right, here we go. We're gonna start again with that sumo squat with the single heel raise. Remember, we're going for 10 raises on each leg, so 20 total here. Um, making sure to come all the way up onto the toe, 
Uh, remember, whatever depth of squat you can handle, if you need to come up out of the squat before you're finished, that's totally fine. Whatever you can do is totally fine. All right, so let's go. Walk the feet out a little bit, sink into that squat, and raise the toe. So next thing we have is that runner stretch with the overhead reach. A little chilly out here, my nose is running. Alright, find that lunge here. Inhale, arms go overhead, we press over the knee, open up the hip. Here we go. In three, two, one. more on this leg and then we'll switch. Last one here. And relax. Good job. Um, if you notice, I walked my uh, lunge in slightly. If you're having a difficult time balancing, just go ahead and shorten uh, the distance between your legs. Uh, that should help with the balance. So if you feel like being out here is too much, just go ahead, walk it in slightly. And then here we go, other leg. Pressing through the hips here. Four more. Last one. Hold it and relax. All right. Take a couple seconds. And then we're going to go into our forward fold with rotations. All right, here we go. Remember, opposite hand is going to wrap outside the opposite shin, and the other hand is reaching up towards the sky. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Two more here. And last one. Relax. All right, that is the end of circuit number one. Next, we are gonna head into our upper body focus circuit. So what that is going to look like is we're gonna have our standing open book first. So with a standing open book, you're going to have your torso facing one direction and you're going to have your arms traveling on one straight line here and you're only going to open up 
far enough to where your hips don't start to open with you. Okay, because if you're trying to go directly behind you and your hips are opening, that's defeating the purpose of the exercise. Okay, so we're going to be alternating sides and we're going to go for 10 total reps. So arms are gonna come out in front. We're gonna rotate open, head is following the thumbs. My hips are facing forward. And then we're gonna come back in, other side. Opening up, my hips are still facing forward. And then coming back in, that's two. This is five right here. Nice deep breaths here, guys. Last one. And relax. All right, so next we're moving into a very basic stretch. We're gonna focus on this posterior aspect of the shoulder here, and we're just gonna do a cross body stretch. But instead of keeping the head pointed forward, we're actually gonna rotate it over this shoulder that we're turning to open up the neck slightly. Keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Hold this for 10 seconds. We'll do three on each arm. So go ahead and switch. Shoulders down in the way, heads going over shoulder. And relax. One more time. Relax, we got one more round on each arm. So cross on over, heads traveling over arm here. Three, two, one. Relax and last one on this arm, shoulders are down and away. For three, two, one. Relax, all right. So moving on, we're going to do a version of a tricep stretch. So you're going to reach towards the middle of your back here, and then your other shoulder is going to reach back towards that other hand. Um, if you are able to interlock, perfect. I am not, obviously. Um, but we're going to work on this internal rotation here, this external rotation up here, and we're going to bend for three, two, one. We're gonna do five bends on each side. Really focusing on opening up that lat as it attaches under the armpit here and the tricep. Last bend. And come on out of there. Same thing, reaching towards the mid back. The other arm is reaching underneath towards the mid back and we're rotating. And last one here. And relax. All right. So we have one more round of this. And then we're gonna head into 
our cool down. So we're gonna start off again with the first exercise, which seems to have slipped my, man, my mind for some reason. Our standing open books. <laughs> so we're going to have those arms nice and ahead of us. Hips are staying in their place. Feet are planted and grounded into the ground here. As we open, we're going to inhale. And as we close, we're going to exhale. Alternating sides. Last one on this side. And one more to close it out. Good. All right. From here, we're going to move on to our cross body stretch. So what that's going to look like, again, so we're just gonna grab and pull and look over the shoulder. going to do some wrist circles back and forth if you'd like and relax cross on over 10 seconds three two one got two more on each arm There's a squirrel. Sorry. Can <laughs> distract? <laughs> Three, two, one. Relax. We have one more. And one last one here. For three, two, one, relax. All right, one last round of our tricep stretch. So reaching towards the mid back with both hands, leaning to the side. One more on this side. And relax. Come on out of there nice and slow. Reach towards the mid-back on this side and lean. our last one here. Relax. Slowly come on out of there. All right, let's get our cool down on. So what we're looking to do here is just finish out loosening up the joints. So we're just going to do some shoulder rolls here. Just 10. We're going to go up, back, and down nice and slow. And 
her laps. Next, we're just going to do some weight shifting circles, really working on getting the full range of motion in our ankles and our knees. We're gonna go five one direction. Last one. And then we're gonna go the other direction. You may come to find out that one direction feels a little bit more wonky than the other. It might be a little bit more off balance, something you're not really used to. relax on that and we're just gonna do some knee hugs so we'll do pull up towards the chest relax get a little bit of balance in there open up the glutes We're going to do 10 of these. Two more. And last one here. And relax. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that little midday movement. Um, I know I always do. Um, but definitely come and check us out, uh, for our in-person, uh, group exercise classes since they are available to everybody this month. Um, come check us out and keep looking at our Slack and our fitness pages, um, for any updates of any fun challenges we have coming up or any fun events. So definitely keep an eye on that. I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday and I hope you enjoyed your October as we head into the first day of November tomorrow. Um, I will catch you guys again later on this week and I will see you guys later. Bye!